Hey guys, it's Miharu. When we were kids, there was nothing quite like the feeling of stopping by a fast food restaurant for lunch. Maybe you just like the atmosphere. Maybe you liked playing on those N64 or GameCube kiosks if your McDonald's was lucky enough to have them. Or maybe you just didn't have food at home. No matter the reason, one thing's for sure, when you got a kid's meal, you would reach into the bag or box and pull out the most important thing inside, the toy. Fast food promotions for movies or video games have been a thing for decades, and Spyro is no exception. Yes, from the early to late 2000s, the Purple Dragon, along with Crash Bandicoot, got his fair share of kid's meal toys. So today, I bring you the history of these specific promotions. Since I know it's going to be brought up in the comments, I couldn't start the list without mentioning the 1999 Pizza Hut demo disc, which included two levels from the then upcoming Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. For some of you, this was your first experience with Spyro 2. It may have even been your first experience with the series in general. As such, I felt it was important to note. Now, onto the toys. In 2001, we got three from Taco Bell. This included a small Spyro plush, a glow-in-the-dark spark spinner, and a Spyro string crawler with a green gem attached. I should say this right now, of all the toys I'll be mentioning in this video, the crawler was the only one I ever owned, and unfortunately, I seem to have lost it. The next promotion in 2001 for Carl's Jr. and Hardy's was mostly focused on Crash, but still gave us one toy in the form of a Spyro figure with a light up sparks. Skipping ahead to 2002, we have four more from Taco Bell. This time, a Super Loop Spyro, a Glider, a Sparker, and a Sparks Plush. Now here's one I'm sure most of you will remember. In 2005, with the release of A Hero's Tale, McDonald's gave us four LCD minigames, much like the Sonic ones from a year prior, a couple of which I actually did own. From what I've heard, the objective of these games included things like guiding Spyro through a castle collecting gems, a boss fight against Red, and a flight level. In 2007, Wendy's promoted the second game in the Legend trilogy, The Eternal Night, with a Sparks Flyer, Flapping Spyro, a keychain that came in three variants, checkers, and a maze game. And yes, from 2013 to 2018, McDonald's and even Burger King gave out Skylanders toys with their meals. That's about it. However, Magic Crafters HQ recently uncovered these Adopt-a-Dragon concepts from what would have been yet another McDonald's promotion, featuring Spyro and his recolored friends. Unfortunately, no other information about what exactly this was, or the year it was planned, has ever surfaced. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to see any more videos covering Spiral or Crash merchandise throughout the years. As always, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social medias, and I will see you next time. Until then, this is Miharu, signing off.